issues. Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're going to be testing what I would consider a relatively important round. 9mm Luger Plus P 115 grain TAC XP by Underwood. It's item number 161. And the reason I consider this round important is because it is a pure copper hollow point. And the test gun is going to be the Taurus GX4 with its 3 inch barrel. First I'm going to do the chronograph test, then I'm going to do denim and gel, and then I'm going to run a complete 13 round magazine just to make sure there are no duds and to make sure that huge copper hollow point feeds well, at least in the Taurus. This velocity is 12.50. See how they do out of a 3 inch barrel. 1167 1207 1176 1170 and 1139 oh man that last one's going to drag down the average i bet high of 1207 low of 1139 still not too bad 1171 feet per second average. Now we'll set up the denim and gel test. Could be a little bit windier. A little bit more than 18 inches of gel. That's pretty good. Probably help if you can see it. Four layers of denim, almost 19 inches of gel. Put this in just to the left of the 38 special test from earlier, five feet away. Yeah, that's got it where I want it. And it has definitely expanded, but as we often see with these solid copper rounds, it's, it's a little light on penetration. It does appear to have gone 12 inches. We're gonna to need to um, we need to get an exact measurement on that. Get very, very precise. Just under 13 inches, a good 12 and a half. And nicely expanded. Let's try a bare gel test. There does not appear to be a problem with expansion. Penetration is a bit marginal, however. Okay, uh, oh, that's not bad at all. And yeah, there's two clean tracks through it. Did not go over the same gel at all. And without the denim barrier, it's actually gone deeper. And that actually surprises me a great deal. Move that over. You see there's two two distinct channels through the gel. Very good expansion signature. And then it's gone above the other track. See that really well. And penetrated easily to 14 inches. Let's put the calipers on them. Snag that bear gel test first because it's easy to reach. Zero out that caliper. Looks like this might be the widest this way. Get a good idea. 70 caliber. Dang, that's a good bullet. All right, let's see how the uh, see how the denim shot did. That's good tough gel. Should be a valid test. That might be the widest there. Anyway, these copper rounds tend to be so even. Wow, that's just as big. Again, just over 70 caliber. Magnificent bullets. Big, wide, hollow point cavities. Paying off even through the three inch barrel of the Taurus GX4. Let's put 13 of them down range. I'm just gonna aim low and keep these kind of in the dirt. Well, 
that's 13. No duds in that batch. And they do appear to feed just fine. So once again, that's been a test of the nine millimeter Luger Plus P 115 grain tack XP by Underwood out of the Taurus GX4. We did chronograph and denim and gel and bear gel and a 13 round magazine for reliability. Thanks folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have another great week. No issues.